A teenage girl, alongside her boyfriend, discovers that the year long of relentless cyberbullying and harassment that they have been through turned out to be the girl's own very mother. We are going to be calling the teenage girl Lily and her boyfriend Jacob for the sake of this story. Kendra Gale Lasari is one of the most twisted mothers we have seen recently. Kendra would manipulate her own daughter into thinking that the girls at school were the ones who were stalking her, cyberbullying her, and even harassing her for more than a year. While Lily and Jacob were dating, they were suffering so much online abuse, but they just couldn't figure out who would want to do this. The problem was is that nobody had hated Jacob or Lily. They are both really great people. They had no enemies at school, so this is why they couldn't figure out who would it be at school who would be doing this to them. It's hard to take Kendra's word that it would be, you know, the girls at school when Lily is friends with almost everybody. Kendra tried so hard to convince Lily that Lily should only be trusting her mother in this situation. Kendra was trying to cover her tracks the best she could. She was using a VPN all year long while harassing these two teenagers because she thought that a VPN could not trace any of the online abuse back to her. While VPNs are great for protection, once you get involved with law enforcement, that's it. A VPN doesn't really do you any good. Kendra was working with Jacob's mum to try and desperately find out who the hell is harassing and bullying these kids online. The parents went to the school with all of this online abuse and harassment, and they were speaking to school officials about it to try and get to the bottom of who is doing this. If it's a student at school, they need to face consequences for their actions. Now, in most cases, schools do not take this kind of stuff seriously, but for Kendra, this was really her downfall. The school had made a police report and then the FBI got involved because of how horrendous this situation was getting. It wasn't stopping, it was only just getting worse for Lily. You know, because this was bringing so much mental stress to Lily and Jacob at the time when they were dating. This was causing Lily to become so depressed because she was receiving so much harassment and she didn't even know who would hate her enough to want to do this. What was ultimately weird was that Kendra was working at the same school as an all-girls basketball coach. The whole ordeal was planned stupidly by Kendra. She started harassing her daughter in early 2021. She installed a VPN to make sure that none of this could be traced back to her. She never wanted to be found out and Kendra honestly thought that she would never be found out. She then got involved with Jacob's parents at the school trying to find who the culprit was. Kendra made her messages sound like they were coming coming from a teenager using abbreviations and the hip language. She was sending over 350 harassing messages to Lily over the course of a year. So that's almost one, one message or two messages per day. Kendra has been charged with two counts of stalking a minor, two counts of using a computer to commit a crime, and one count of obstruction of justice. There are more charges to come since Kendra tried to frame other minors at the school for doing this. And you may be wondering, wait, she all of a sudden got charged with this? How did they find out? Kendra had confessed to police. She literally confessed to them what she had done over the year. And apparently there was little remorse from her. What kind of mother would do this to their own children. Like, it makes no sense to me. What an absolute terrible person, let alone mother, to be doing this to their own children, to make Lily so distressed and depressed that she didn't even want to go to school because she was, you know, in fear. Who, who is doing this? Who at school hates me this much? They want to make my life a living hell. And it turned out to be her own mum. And, you know, when Lily found out, she was honestly just in shock. I mean, as you would be. Imagine finding out your online abuser was your own damn parent. That would be something that would be very, very hard to live with because you just don't understand where this motivation would come from, 
why like was she jealous of her daughter was there something about her daughter that you know she just didn't like and she just wanted to make her into this depressed person like there's still yet more to come about the motivations for this and honestly the motivations don't really matter when you look at this from a perspective where it's like okay you did this for a year long you were manipulating your own daughter into thinking that it was girls at school who were doing this you tried to frame other minors and you did this every single day for a year. You were sending messages every single day for a year. You didn't even let up on her for one day. And that's the scariest part about this is that it could happen to anyone. This is one of the very first cases that I've heard of this and it's sad because there are bound to be so much more. All my love goes out to Lily and Jacob because being cyber bullied is something where you know people are like oh you can just turn off your phone or whatever you shouldn't have to turn off your phone you shouldn't have to delete social media just because people are fucked in the head and that's all I got to say about that now with that being said what are your thoughts and opinions on this situation have you been through anything similar maybe not with a parent but somebody quite close to you that you never thought would do something like this to you. If there are any updates on this case of Kendra, you will find it here first on Drama Queen. Thank you so much for joining me in another one of my videos. As you can see, we're in kind of a different background for the moment because I just got my first place. So anyways, I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay safe out there and most of all, love your fucking selves.